Hey everyone, Alex here. I uh, just wanted to do a, a review on the uh, lifted Prius I have behind me. Um, it has the two inch lift kit from Prius Off-Road. Uh, you can find them on Instagram and find them online. And uh, just wanted to kind of go over a couple things. So as you can see, we've got some fresh snow coming down right now. I got about four inches or so last night. And uh, so far the car's been pretty good. Um, I just actually put the larger tires on it here the other day. Uh, they're a set of Winter Force M&S's. Uh, they are a, what size are those things? They are, oh, sorry, right there. They are a 215-70R15. A couple sizes larger than stock. The stock tires are a 185, I believe 65 or 70 R15. Um, yes, there was a little loss in miles per gallon, but not anything crazy like some people are claiming uh, when they lift cars. Um, car normally gets about 42 to 45 miles per gallon. Uh, and we're getting about 40 miles per gallon still. Uh, the simplicity of the kit has been pretty nice, actually. Uh, it was super easy to put on. I had to do the rear struts on it. Um, so I ordered the kit and ended up just putting it on the front as well. Um, you know, I would definitely do this again to another Prius if I got another one. Um, uh, highway drivability has not been affected. Um, you know, a little bit of more wind, you know, gets underneath it, but it's not crazy. Doesn't cause any stability issues or anything like that. Um, I think we've put about six or 7,000 miles on it, maybe 10,000. I think it's been through two oil changes and we do them every 3,500 to 5,000 and hasn't worn anything. Um, suspension related wise, obviously, like I said, we just put the larger tires on it here about four or five days ago. Um, still getting close to 40 miles per gallon with it, give or take a couple. Um, depends on how much idling I do with it or just sitting in the parking lot at work on uh, my lunch break, things like that. Um, if you guys have any questions um, about the kit or anything with the car, let me know. Um, the car has about 200,000 miles on it now and... We've owned it for, I think, four years now, maybe three. Uh, my wife drove it to school and back for about 30000 uh, until I started tinkering with it and doing some stuff with it. It is my daily driver now, unless the weather's really bad where I drive the Suburban in. Um, I'm going to do a video on the headlights on this car. They are the HIDs. Uh, they're horrible at night. I can't see anything other than with the fog lights on and the headlights. Uh, so I got some new ones actually in the back of the car. We're going to do a halogen light conversion on the car. I'll show you guys how to do that. Um, maybe uh, we'll do a little bit of stuff, maybe some trimming in the wheel wells. Uh, since the tires are kind of large with a lot of weight in the trunk, they kind of sit a little low or the rear suspension sits a little low uh, close to the tire where I don't like it. So I might do a little trimming back there. Don't worry, it's not a perfect body on this car. It actually has a salvage title, and there is quite a bit of rust um, down in the rocker panels, so it's not like I'm cutting up a good car or clean car. Um, but yeah, that's all I got for right now. Um, all in all, very happy with the kit. I uh, haven't had any issues with it. Uh, Prius Off-Road's a great company to uh, get a kit from. Um, can't remember the cost on it, you know, just go on their website. They actually offer uh, heavy duty springs now for the rear uh, suspension uh, on these cars as well. Um, so it might be something I'll be picking up from them in the future. Um, but for right now, it's just gonna be my daily all winter long here uh, with larger snow tires on it. It is a world of difference uh, driving uh, with these snow tires on. Um, Actually, before the lift kit, it would get stuck really bad in the driveway. I drove it last week. We had a ice storm with stock road all season tires on it. Um, wasn't very fun. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, yeah, if there's anything you guys want to say, 
like I said, comment down below. One of the things I do want to do this car is kind of modify this driver's seat. I'm six foot four and I hit my head on the roof all the time. Not very fun. But thanks for watching the video and we'll see you around in the next one.